And today is Vlogmas day two, yay! So today I'm going to talk to you guys about something very important. It's called the Shoe Box Project. And for those of you who haven't heard of it before, I'm gonna explain it to you today. But first things first, I wanna show you guys my little background scenery. Got snowman pillow, snowflake pillow, and the Grinch wanted to join in this video. So I'm like, hey, come on over, the more the merrier. So I'm gonna go online and explain to you guys what this is about. So their site is called shoeboxproject.com. And the reason I even started doing this is because I'm a girl guide leader and with our girl guides we decided to do this project just to teach them about the community and about helping others and they are earning their peace badge by doing this. So um, as a leader we also wanted to do the boxes to give an example to them and it's just a great cause. So on their site it says give comfort, give confidence, give warmth, just give love. And then you scroll down and it says what it's all about. So the description says, we have over 45 local chapters across Canada and the US that are running holiday drives this year. The holidays are often one of the loneliest times of the year for women experiencing homelessness. This year can be different for her. Join us as we just give love this holiday season. A shoebox is a powerful reminder that she is valuable and not alone. Someone in her community is thinking of her. We can give her warmth, comfort, and confidence by making a shoebox gift just for her this year. Get involved in your community before it's too late and make a shoebox for the local women in need of a little holiday cheer. So basically the shoebox will be going to a woman, either someone who's single or a mother, and you just fill it with things that they might need throughout the holiday season or something they might enjoy. Um, so there's five simple steps to decorating your, well, to making your shoebox. Step one, decorate your empty shoebox. So I got my box at Dollarama. Uh, this is it, and this is the front of it. It was just a snowman, but I added some fine details just to make it even prettier, which is recommended. So yes, this is my shoebox. And it is the size of a shoebox. Um, it's just more of a square, but it's pretty much the same amount of space. Um, so if you have a regular shoebox, then you're supposed to wrap the top and bottom of the shoebox separately and yeah, that's it. Because they do need to look inside of it just to make sure everything inside is legit because they don't want to be sending inappropriate things to these families. Um, yeah, and if you don't have enough empty shoe boxes lying around, consider picking up a decorative box from the dollar store or craft store. So that's what I did. Um, and then also I'm not the best at wrapping, so I didn't want to <laughs> try to wrap a resin and turn out really ugly. So this is the winner. <laughs> I decorated it though, so I did put in the effort. <laughs> Um, next step is to fill your shoebox. So each shoebox must have approximately $50 CR suggested items. So in these boxes, um, like I said, it's supposed to be $50. I went to the dollar store and I went to Shoppers Drug Mart to pick up my items. So if you are a bit younger, maybe it's a good idea if you gather up like five friends, you can each chip in $10 and then you have your $50 box. So it's doable at any age. And it says, consider lining shoeboxes with tissue paper first for a more polished, elegant look. So that is what I am doing. I got my festive green tissue paper right here. So just place this in. It does make it look much nicer and it's just you putting in some more effort, which is great. So this is the inside of my shoe box now. Just makes it look cleaner, I agree. Um, don't overstuff your box. Make sure the lid fits properly and doesn't pop off. And then they have a suggested items list, such as something warm, so socks, mittens, scarf, hat, or hand warmers, something sweet, nut-free, like chocolate or candy, cough drops, multivitamins, body or hand lotions, uh, brush, comb, shampoo, nail polishes, Kleenex, gift cards, subway tokens, coloring books. Things that you're not supposed to put in the box would be used goods, hotel samples, clothing, uh, mouthwash containing alcohol, candles, foundation, razors, jumbo size containers, books, or anything that opened or not packaged. And the third step is you're supposed to write an inspirational message. And that, is, and then you drop it off. And you can find places to drop it off on their website. 
Um, they have a place you can click, it's called Cities Page, and it will just stay the closest one to you. So, for my box, I've already decorated the lid, put the paper in, so now I can start filling it. So for my box, I got this, which I think is so cute. It's a little penguin, like, if you have a daughter, she can use it as a purse, or it could just be used as like a little place for storage. Either way, it's Christmassy, it's cute. Um, so in this, I think I will put the band-aids. So band-aids are always great, they're always useful, so I thought that would be good. Um, and then we got some toothpaste. Put that in. And a toothbrush. So there we have it in our little care package. So we'll put that in our box. And I also, so because this woman might have a son or a daughter, we're not sure, I didn't get anything pink, I got blue, because I feel like that is gender neutral. I'm a girl, I love blue, so I think it works. And then we could, if the woman has two kids, Got a comb for the boy and a brush for the girl, so it's perfect. Um, I also got some hair ties, because these are always very handy. Got some Christmas socks, and they're so fuzzy and so perfect and warm. So yes, I thought these would be great, and they're just so cheerful. What else do I hold? Um, I also got, apparently this is a big thing. Shopkins, apparently, it's kind of blurry, but apparently kids love the Shopkins, so I got that. It comes with these little stickers, and it's delish flavored lip balm. So I was like, okay, that works. <laughs> um, also got crayons, because kids really like to color. And even adults now, there's adult coloring books. And then I got a pack of gum. I got a nail polish. I got it in a red shimmery color, perfect for Christmas. And I got Aquafina Hydrating Lip Balm, cause it's winter, those lips can be a trapping. So I thought that would be good. And I also got mittens, soft fuzzy mittens in blue again, cause don't know if this person might have a boy or a girl. So those go in the box as well. And I think, that's mostly everything. And then also, I got sticker packages. So I think I'll give this one because it has little snowmen and little penguins and snowflakes. So I'll put that in the box as well. And these are actually the packages I used to decorate here with the little peppermints and the stockings. So I got three packages because I thought they were actually really cute. They're only $1.25 from Dollarama. So that was, I thought that was a really good buy. Um, and also on the box I used these on the cover because they beautiful and they really snazzed up my box I think and then I have these bows but I feel like they'll fall off but they were only a dollar so I guess they will be useful and that I think is everything for my box all right so here we have our box full of items it's popping out right now but I can close it I just wanted to show you guys what the final product looks like. And now we gotta close it. Oh, I gotta take the toothbrush out. And yeah, because it can't be popping open with stuff. So you gotta make sure it can close, 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 perfect. So yes, this is my box and I'm so happy that I did this with my girls because it's just such an amazing thing. I honestly didn't even know about this charity before starting Girl Guides. So I just wanted to make this video in case you guys didn't know about it, getting awareness out there. The holidays are really rough for some people. Some people are less fortunate. So just being able to help out is, it just makes all the difference in someone's life. So it's very important and I really hope all of you can do it. I think the final day to get boxes in is probably around December 10th because they do have to get them to the people for Christmas. Um, but again, you can always check the website and they'll tell you the final date. So I really hope you guys take part in the shoebox project. It is so, so important and you could really make someone's holiday. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more Vlogmas videos. Please like this video and comment down below if you will be partaking in this project. Also down below, you can let me know what other videos you might like to see, give me some ideas. I do have most of it planned, but I'm always up for a new suggestion. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. 
keep happy, keep Christmassy, and I'll see you in the next one.